basically I just heard that they were making the film and I know personally I come from a Penn State household, my sister went, my mother went, so I feel like there's some excitement, at least in what I have experienced, there's excitement. We all know about it, we all know what happened, so when it comes out again it's more just um, we're talking about it and I think that actually might be better that there's an open dialogue because before there really wasn't, it was very secretive. Like if you're a, a strong Penn State fan and it might not appeal to you, like it might put Joe Biden in like a darker light than people would imagine or that people would want to remember him in, but I'm still looking forward to watching it. I think it was just such a shocking thing and it was, and it was before Larry Nassar got in trouble, I think it was kind of like the first huge scandal that got rocked by like the school. Coming into Penn State, I knew very, very little about the scandal. I just knew that some people would mention it to me, like the same dusky club, and I was like, I'm just going to school there. So it wasn't as much of a determining factor for me, but I am interested to see like how they portray this school, because this is obviously like my second home, so um, I am kind of like interested in seeing if they're going to do it justice. I come from a Penn State family. The whole uh, Sandusky incident happened while my uh, one of my brothers was actually here. So I feel like the whole thing affected his generation of students rather than the one that I experienced college with. We didn't really feel the effects of it, um, but I would say they were more passionate about um, Joe Paterno and what he did here and his influence on the football culture itself rather than us. Like our football culture is based around Coach Franklin exactly. rather than Joe Paterno.